You know, you can bash this game all you want, but Riders Republic do be listening to their community. <laughs> this week, the baddest community manager in the biz dropped some patch notes over on the subreddit, and it might silence the harshest critics for now. Welcome back to the Riders Report. Today's episode is brought to you by our YouTube members. Thank you, as always, to executive producers Bone Crusher 2 d and Coach34, along with co-producers It's the Mort and Mitch's Mom, and our fans and fans plus. If you'd like to become a member and help support the channel, hit join down below for cool perks like early access to the shows, emojis and badges, exclusive Discord roles, members-only content, sneak peeks, and more. We've got some big congratulations in order. Riders Republic has been nominated for the best sports racing game by the Game Awards. So you can vote now on their website and maybe we'll be taking home some hardware. And yeah, yeah, you do it, guys. Don't even have to ask. Yes, we will accept the award on your behalf. It's it's fine. We'll we'll take care of that for you. Don't worry, we got a speech prepared. <laughs> Next week, be on the lookout for the start of our Tardiflet Games Best Trick series. We'll have the rules and submissions up on our website, and now is the time to start saving some clips. Most importantly, the duplicated gear in Riders Republic has been fixed, but there is a whole bunch more to talk about in the main topic. Also, late last week, uh, Friday, November 19th to be exact, Yubi Swaguchi. Uh, one of the community managers over at Ubisoft ANSI posted community update number two. And just to clarify for um, continuity sake, uh, we didn't cover community update number one because it released what, like on a Wednesday or a Thursday. It was right after our episode came out. So we just missed it. But we are back this week to cover the brand new one. And I would argue that this one is a little bit bigger than that first community update. Uh, like we said, up in the up in the intro section here, uh, this might silence some of the haters, especially uh, a large portion of folks over on the Riders Republic subreddit, uh, specifically talking about duplicate clothes and just the lackluster uh, clothing shop that they have in the game. Uh, so let's get into it. This is an absolute novel of an update. So if you'd like to follow along with us, you can head over. Uh, you can look down in the description of this video right now for a link, but you can also head to the r slash Riders Republic subreddit and click on community update number two. Yes, on Wednesday, they updated the daily shop in the game and they're hearing the community that you want more variety and less repeated items and to be less costumes and a bit more on the serious side, serious pieces of clothing like hoodies and not flannel because there's already a lot of flannel in the game, but stuff you would wear in day to day life. So they said they're working on adding those and this is only the start. There is going to be a much more next season. And uh, going back to when we covered all of those seasons, this is just the grand opening window, which was about the first month. And then there were three seasons, I believe, right? Four months each. Yeah, three or four. I think it was three plus the grand opening. Yeah, that Anyways, sounds about right. There will be yeah. a couple seasons that are th three months long, three to four months long, and they are saying there's going to be a lot more clothing. So I think they were, you know, working on getting the game polished, getting it ready for launch, working on all of these launch issues for the first four weeks. Once the seasons come, I am expecting a whole lot more gear to unlock. I've been working on the Red Bull sponsorship to get those clothes, but I need more. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, the, the most reassuring piece of this update is uh, i believe it's in one of the first two paragraphs here this is only the start and they will be adjusting more and more as the seasons go on so you know i mean already how long have we had this game has it been over a month just about a month right yeah it's yeah just it's about been, a month it's gonna be a, a month. next week i think it's gonna be a month so and, it's only been out for a bit there's there's still you know we're just a month out and they're still making these dramatic changes uh and you see a lot of the comments on this post as well you know oh i wish battlefield had this kind of community response oh i wish rainbow had this kind of community response complain all you want about this shop they are trying to figure it out just like us you know i don't want to play the the pandemic card a whole lot because that's just in every aspect of life right now but 
we do know that they kind of rushed to get this game out and they delayed it twice, three, three times. Mm, twice. Yeah. Yeah, they delayed it a couple of times <laughs> to make sure that the product that we got was good. Um, and it was just a little upsetting that the community latched on to the, um, the clothing shop so harsh right out of the gate. Uh, I get it. You know, this game was built on customization and making it your own. Uh, but there are other ways to do that in the game. And this is getting a little meta within the, the subreddit. But that's the camp that I fall on, you know. Let the let the shop work itself out. It will work itself out in time. Go ride. Go focus on the game. You can get another shirt later on. <laughs> and there are other ways to get them in the game, too, but they touch on that as well. Um, right now, you can get them in sponsorships, which is where I'm looking for most of my clothes. You got the Ford, Ryder, Red Bull, uh, Armada. I mean, they all have like hoodies, jeans, pants, different items that you can unlock. There's a few for each sponsorship. Uh, and you can also get them in the Shack Daddy Bandit Challenges. They've had a few cool ones. Like that panda suit is this week's, yes, which yes. is beautiful. The foam-covered bike. I think there was some like T-shirt or something with the foam-covered bike last week too. So mm-hmm. make sure you're checking out those Shack Daddy Bandit Challenges. You got to buy them, like spend 2000 bucks to unlock the challenge for yourself, mm-hmm. and then you can complete them. But you get a week's time, so there's plenty of time to do them. And they're all themed, and they make you do a bunch of different things. Like, I actually had to go play Tricks Battles in the free-for-all playlist this time. Wow. Jeez, oh, man. I mean, it, yeah, and that's this is one note coming from someone who has a full-time job and, you know, is hosting family for U.S. Thanksgiving this week. Like, I don't have a lot of time in the week to play. Um, so these Shack Daddy challenges have been awesome to watch and awesome to see. And I actually tried to buy in to get that foam bike, but just didn't have the time to sit down and make it happen. So it's a little bittersweet, but, uh, you know, I will always support everyone <laughs> that has the time and is able to uh, to go out there and grind that week to get this, especially this panda. I would honestly pay someone to grind the hours for me to grab this panda. Well, with, gear swap uh, was it? <laughs> I was going to say PlayStation 5, you can share play and then I can uh, I'll take over play for like an hour or so, maybe try and unlock your gear or maybe, maybe so. I, want your ears. I want it. I want it just ears. for me, just for me. <laughs> You're going to get it on my con- on my console and then delete it as soon as yes. you unlock it just so you can have it. It'd be interesting <laughs> if you could like share gear with a friends like in real life where I could loan you the bike, but then I can't use it until you give it back Jeez, old man. and you can Jeez, choose old. not to give it back. So then you're just ho- hoarding there's my a, bike. There's a there's a button where I can choose to clean your bike off or give it back to you dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Get a rusty chain. Yeah, back. it's lost all of its stats. It's down <laughs> way down to the bottom. <laughs> Flat well, tires. these updates will will I'm sure they'll be coming later <laughs> on in the seasons. But uh, these initial updates, especially um, Monday, November 22nd, that's going to be a date that you really want to put on your calendar. That's today. Um, that's oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> uh, th- you see what I mean? There's proofs in the pudding. I'm doing too much. I can't focus on a foam bike or a panda suit um, today. The game was updated to fix the duplicate gear issue. So that's a big win for the community. I know that was one big old check off of this to do list for Ubisoft and, you know, a lot of the uh, the folks over on Reddit. Uh, the big one, the big daddy, the big kahuna is coming next Tuesday, November 30th. Uh, and that update and that those patch notes will be available on the subreddit soon. Uh, we don't know what all is coming with that one, but uh, should be something big. That's yeah, it's interesting that that's not considered like if this one wasn't a download, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what they have in that. Probably Uh a lot of housekeeping bug changes, maybe some stuff to the mass races, too. They keep Mm -hmm. talking that they are listening about that. So it'll be huge. And the duplicate issue is big. I mean, people are talking, but is that intentional or not where you could get duplicate skis or bikes? So they fixed that. Unfortunately, they can't give anything for people who got duplicate gear because yeah. they can't tell what you got how I, I guess that's a lot to work out but they have increased the drop rate of gear past level 20 which i think i'm about level 20 on each sport and it can be pretty slow every time i see like i've leveled up and then it's three thousand bucks i'm like oh, i'm not spending those yet i've already <laughs> bought the items in the store i don't want anything else so it'll be nice once they have some more gear and then maybe finally unlock some of that gold stuff yeah, yeah. Slowly but surely, we're we're uh, cleaning up this shop. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, I'm I'm happy that they're finally doing this. Um, 
you know, offers more choices to more riders. Uh, is there anything else you have to say about the shops? Do you want to just rip through these uh, general housekeeping notes and comment on them if if we feel the need to? Yeah, I, I know the first one was a big one. Uh, whenever mm. you pre-ordered and got the neon pack, the mask didn't have smoke like it did in the pictures. They are working on that, trying to fix it. It seemed like it was something where they just marketed it, like the marketing team drew smoke thinking it was cool or like what <laughs> yeah. with the game and then everyone's like it doesn't have it in the game so yeah uh, they are working on that and some of the other items like that yeah um something like uh the side objective of the shack daddy bandits event bob racer that was requiring it required a speed of 120 kilometers an hour when crossing the finish line uh that i don't think anyone hit that so they reduced it to 110 yeah uh, thank you I, you would need i don't even know what kind of gear that is but if it's a shack yeah. daddy bandit event it's giving you a set of gear so it probably just wasn't possible i think there mm. was some challenges like that in the beta where the challenges just didn't quite line up with the gear that you had or what was feasible like it would ask you to cross at 120 and it was a flat piece of ground so you just couldn't get up to it so yeah, making right. some small tweaks like that looks like um the dine and dash side objective description has been updated to reflect what you actually do. What, what did we actually have to do? Fantastic. I want to find Th- what that you. side objective is. <laughs> like, <laughs> Okay. It's, it has been fixed to show you what you actually have to do. To tell you, we, we gave you these rules, but we didn't really give you the rules. Yeah. Now we're giving you the rules. Thank you very much. Gabe. Cool. Uh, that, that's what I'm talking about. Like. These big, you know, the the community glommed onto this shop and it was this big, like, bring your pitchforks out, bring your torches out. We're going to light Riders Republic on fire. And they're still sitting here like, hey, this one challenge that came out, um, one of the rules didn't pop up. So, like, we're just going to put that in there for you. They are still ironing this game out. It's still not 100% done. Like, I I, I don't feel like it's 100% where they want it to be. No game is these days. But uh, you know what I mean. Like, they're still really working on it it's so new yeah and i think this post finally these community updates really show that they're working on it and it reads like project management and kind of gantt charts what you would read when you're a team and it's like here's what has been fixed here is what we're working on in the pipeline here is what we have heard you about but it's gonna take us a while to actually get a team on that but it has been presented and we know that you want it fixed so it's really nice to see that they have kind of those stages and they're listening so early on when they could just be still promoting and buy in the mode of getting people to buy the game right that they're saying yeah we can hear all of you there's a lot of you so we're not responding to every individual person but if this is i think the other one was last week or two weeks ago so Mm -hmm. bi-weekly updates would be great yeah oh agreed i mean you know in the the dev vlogs kind of they promised that earlier on but those kind of died off so hopefully you know the community will pick up and uh, people will come to appreciate these more and more and look forward to these as an update uh we're obviously going to cover as many of these community updates as we can as they come out um you know if it's beefy we will be covering it i'm sure this is definitely worth a discussion between you and your riding buddies uh i think i'm fine to leave it there i don't have really anything else to say about the community update except just uh, like a round of applause hats off to ubisoft and c for um getting out in front of these you know that's one thing you learn in pr Get out in front of your mistakes and own it. Talk to the people that it is affecting. And that is so much better, so much easier to resolve than just doing a cyberpunk or a No Man's Sky where you kind of just go, "Eh, don't talk about it. We'll be back. And you go radio silent to fix your stuff. Um, Before pre-release, I was scared that Riders was taking that approach. Like I said, with the dev blogs, they kind of just left the face of the earth and they didn't tweet at all and they didn't post anywhere and then we got these weird horoscopes out of nowhere <laughs> um but I'm, I'm really happy that they have turned this corner hats off to swaguchi gehan and uh everybody else over there on the community team well done <laughs> Well, it's time once again to pick our favorite photos from the weekly photo challenge we have over here at Nick and Mitch. 
Each week, or you know, every few weeks, we post a picture theme and you can submit your best photos from the game. This week's theme, it is week number two, I believe, of Rider's Wardrobe. We wanna see what you are wearing in game. Uh, Hilarious. Wow, that really ties into the community update and the main topic that we just covered. <laughs> we want to see which items you picked out to ride in rep in the game. Uh, I believe we have two, one repeat and one newbie. Mitch, you want to kick us off? Sure thing. I'm going to go with the picture from Sofex because Ooh. he has four different outfits in here called the many looks of Sofex. I've been working on changing up my outfit because... I used to just have the same thing on all of my riders, but I like this little idea that he has going on different looks for the different equipment. He's got the snowboarder with the nice grand opening hoodie, the goggles to match, the biker the wearing the man. nice red bike shirt, a commensal shirt, even pants. though he's riding a, uh, oh, right. And the shine. how did I miss oh, it? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just... <laughs> the the <laughs> shiny pants in these pictures and the skier. I love the skier. I didn't even know you could get this outfit. That must be something that you get in all of the sponsorships maybe i like don't the... know i look at wait look at the bottom left or i mean we're looking at it on the right there is that the old steep logo the bottom kind of looks like the steep logo you know Where? like the the totem logo on the skier on the ski it you kinda see it? the kinda top kinda of it kind of yeah. looks like the cross skis with the wingsuit on top of it you're right i think that is a different sponsor that's in the game but i'm not sure okay. but i like that okay. it's the black gold and then the shiny pants of course and the shiny pants and then the final one doesn't have the shiny pants but it's got the rip pants which i've been rocking and then the caution shirt i think it says trees don't move <laughs> yeah i like that we should <laughs> i want that in real life almost just nice trees don't move it's a great motto to live life by but I'm uh, I'm like all of these outfits and that he's kind of got the different look. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I like that he gave us all four of his looks. You know, couldn't just give us the one that he's repping or the one that he's proud of. Uh, this paints a picture of him, of his rider. Uh, so well done, Sofex. Way to way to paint that picture. Also, if you're looking at it on the end, snowboarders wearing a ball cap. Biker on the right, downhill bikers wearing a ball cap, but the road and skis are both in those helmets. So I don't know if he balanced those on purpose, but well done. Uh, we are moving on the second time that we have featured this rider in this challenge, I believe. Yeah, uh, I picked him last week. I'm picking him again. It is, I'm not going to mess it up. Woo! Red uh, showing off that steezy panda costume that we were just talking about in the main topic. I don't need to say anything else. This thing is B A. Which one did you pick? There, are you going the dark, oh. or the nighttime, or are you going the daytime? Because <laughs> well, both I mean, of them are beautiful. They got gorgeous landscapes. Hey, hey, you know what? Let's show both of them. Boom! Oh. Put the other one up on screen right now. Look at that. Boom! He he gave us one. He gave us two. Gave us both of them, night and day. I mean, it's super cool that the uh, the dark one is glowing again with that like cotton candy sky, just like we saw last week with the bunny outfit. But um. Yeah, and I think it's the same, looks like the same spot as the bunny outfit. Was, I'm not uh, sure in the daytime. I was about to say, is this the same spot? That that background that background's not in the game, is it? That's that's such a good shot there. The daytime right? one where you got yeah. the mountains the uh, left, it, like the other mountains on the right, and then like the grass. That's not in the game. Dude, I can't stop staring at the backgrounds of all of these pictures. Yeah. Um yeah, it's it, it's seriously blowing me wow. away. But you know, talk about the background, talk about the landscape of this game. Uh, we are going to move on from Riders Wardrobe. Thank you to everyone who submitted to wide Riders Wardrobe. We had Sario, we had Sofex, Woo Red. I'm um, scrolling here, scrolling here. Mister Man One Two Three, Tega, Manuel G, and Steepest Legend. Thank you all for submitting to this album. We're going to be moving on next week. We're going to be focusing on the landscapes, on the backgrounds of the game of these pictures. Uh, we want to put those front and center with your best picnic spot. Where would you like to have a picnic in Riders Republic? Where is your one place of Zen or at least your favorite place of Zen in this game? Take a gorgeous shot of that landscape and send it on over to us. We just wanna oogle at the beauty of this game. <laughs> I've got a few places in mind already. So I'm, where are you thinking? Oh, it's one I'm of putting the, you on the spot. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you want coordinates? It's uh, yeah, 6,234 right East, <laughs> no. Uh, it's one of the one of the valleys that I found in the game that's just super peaceful, kind of chill, relaxed by a river. I'll give it that. That's a little hint. You need some rivers, nice. you need some trees, you need some sunlight, and you've got yourself a good picnic spot. 
and uh, hear you. we'll have the link down below. If you want all of the links, we leave these albums open forever. So they are all kind of hit or listed under our Discord server. We have a, what do we call it now? It's under Riders Republic photo submission. So we mm-hmm. have the Welcome to the Republic, the Riders wardrobe. We'll have the picnic all listed there. So if you ever want to look at these pictures or you want to su- submit, submit some more, feel free. Wonderful. And, you know, talk about our Discord channel over there, our Discord server over there. We're going to move on from the photo submission tab to the self promo tab. Uh, These links are also in the description. You can check out all of these links down below. Kicking it off with just steep it. He's he's continuing with these memes and I am not upset about it. He has Toby (laughs) McGuire taking on the wingsuit XP uh, farming area where you can uh, it's essentially a bridge. I think you can jump off near a bridge and get like 250,000 XP really quick. And every million XP, you get a star. So if you're trying to just get stars, grind them as fast as possible, that's the glitch. And I won't spoil which scene he uses from Spider-Man, but it has to do with that and <laughs> Tobey Maguire trying to take on that challenge. We also had a uh, submission from Byblast, and it's insane bike lines and some sports switch highlights. So it's just a bunch of really cool clips that he has from playing the game so far. And most of them are without the HUD. So it's just really cool to see. He also has his group hanging out with him too. Rounding out the self promo section this week, we have some news from Yemi Volgaris. Um, We just have a picture and looks like there is a new edit in the works. I mean, that was confirmed. That's what he wrote (laughs) in the self promo tab. But uh, this picture is kind of scary it doesn't allude to a lot but i will be watching the premiere don't come back coming soon can't wait to see what you got yemi i'm excited to see edits especially edits before director mode comes out and then edits once the director mode comes out that would just be oh yeah buddy a complete ball change or <laughs> ball changer game, game changer <laughs> Man, it is Monday, isn't it? <laughs> got the episode. Got the episode. Hey, thank you for listening. If you got this far, thank you so much uh, for joining us for one of the first of our 100 guaranteed episodes of the Riders Report. Special thanks, as always, goes out to our YouTube members, executive producers, Bone Crusher 2D and Coach 34, along with co-producers. It's the Mort and Mitch's mom include and including our fans and fans plus. If you'd like to become a member, you can hit the join button down below and see all of the cool perks that uh, you can get from that, like early access to the show. We usually post it the night before, almost uh, sometimes a whole day and a half before. You got a member video per month. You get some badges, some emojis to use like the Mitch Pog and the Nick biting the glass. Uh, Sneak peeks to like all of our intro edits whenever we do TFG. Usually just post those like a week or two ahead of time when I first come up with them just to see what you think and get some feedback you can also just subscribe to catch all of our weekly episodes we're going to be at episode 100 soon right um yeah it's episode 10 of writer's report is is our 100th overall episode period covering steep and writer's republic but it'll be our 100th podcast episode. that might be the last one before the year two or it'll be the first one of the new year it's going to be right around christmas new year's time so we'll see we only missed like three or four weeks we've been cooking Mm -hmm. pretty hard uh and then you can check out we got instagram we post a lot of random stuff on there twitter and our discord server which we have talked so highly about so you can join the party um, I'm going to close this off going off the cuff here. Um, University of Pittsburgh made it to the <laughs> ACC championship game, which will be down in Charlotte, North Carolina. So if anyone is in the Charlotte area and would like to come hang out with Mitch and I, we will definitely be there uh, tailgating before that game. It's going to be the first time I see your face in person in over two years, dude. It I will cannot wait. I'm so the excited. The last one was uh, Lauren's play, right? Yep, so, my sister was in a musical when she was in college up in Pittsburgh, and uh, fall semester, I think, twenty nineteen, probably. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, yeah, over put, two years. Put, put the picture up. If someone you know, made it this far in the episode, they can wait for one more picture. <laughs> this is on. what we looked like when we saw each other last. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we've changed just a little bit. Your beard has gotten a little shorter. My face has gotten a little bigger. <laughs> it's all good. I cannot wait to give you a hug in just two weeks, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, what a treat. Uh, Thank you, everyone, so much for watching episode four of the Riders Report. We'll see you back here next time. uh, Same place, same time next week. That's what I meant to say. Uh, We're going to go to bed. We'll see you on the slopes. (laughs) 
I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time. That's the first time I've ever messed it up. Oh my god! Wow. I'm done. Should we just end the that, episode? That's it. Yep. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next week. Jeez. Who? What happened, dude? What happened this week? <laughs> oh dear. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, wait, he's gonna he's gonna say that I'm Nick. Oh wait, no, no he's not. Oh wait, no, he just said we'll see. <laughs> you, you thought. <laughs> <laughs>